Well, after a crazy day of comebacks, repeats, and four trophy hoists, we are back for more in day two of the Weekend of Champions in Conway. This morning, Lone Oak Baseball would look for their first state title since before man walked on the moon in 1969. It's a sellout turnout as the Jackrabbit faithful pack the bear to see Lono go for 4A gold against Ashdown. Razorbacks commit junior pitcher Steele Eves is straight dealing on the mound, allowing no runs and just one hit through six innings. A two-run homer by Jackson Engel in the fourth gave Lone Oak a 4-0 lead. And here in the bottom of the sixth, the Jackrabbits add insurance. With bases loaded, Engel comes up big again slicing that ball to center field to bring in two runs. You can feel history in the making as it's 6-0 Lone Oak heading into the final inning. You'd think that's ball game, but Ashdown won't go down without a fight. Eves trying to throw a complete game, but the Panthers rally back, putting the Rabbits on their heels by scoring three runs. With two outs and two on, Ashdown in position to tie it up, but the future Diamond Hog settles down as Eves closes this thing out. That's your final out. Lone Oak wins 6-3 to bring home their second ever state championship, their first in a whopping 54 years. We thought we were the best team last year and didn't get it done. It's been on our minds all year, and uh, I'm so proud and happy to watch them make their dreams come true. You know, they etched their name in the history books, and that's what we always talk about doing, so I'm so proud of them. From hosting the 4A state tournament to hoisting their first state championship trophy since 1969, Lone Oak has revolved around Jackrabbit baseball in the month of May. Their community rallying behind the team in avid support. For the last three weeks, the town's basically shut down and they've rallied behind us and they've willed us. You know, there's people everywhere. Couldn't be more proud of the fact that they've come out and supported these young men and all their hard work. All the support is crazy, you know, even when things are going bad, we can look out there and it gets our morale up. And that helped us a lot and uh, couldn't do it without the fans. The parents wanted it just as bad as we did, so it feels good to show the town what we're made of and do it for Lona. In last Friday's 4A state final against Ashdown, the Jackrabbits hop on top in the first inning and never relinquish their lead. Jackson Engel crushing a two-run bomb in the process. Junior Razorbacks commits Steel Eves enforces his will, pitching a shutout and allowing one hit until the final inning. With Lone Oak ahead 6-0 in the seventh, the Panthers storm back by scoring three runs on five hits. But Coach Eagle never lost faith in his ace. You know, he's a big-time player, and that's what he does. And uh, I, even there, when it got tight at the end, I still wanted the ball in his hands because I know the competitor he is. Always responds to the challenge. We knew Steele was going to finish it. We knew that he was going to do it. Nobody we'd rather want on the mound. He's an absolute dog. Eve stays on the mound and completes the game. Yeah! getting out of a bases loaded jam with two outs to bring the Rabbits back to glory, winning 6-3. Doing so as a homegrown hog makes this moment even more special. I've grown up watching the Hogs, and uh, it's been every kid's dream to go play for them and being able to do this in my home state. I'm going to remember this one forever, and I'm going to remember it as a uh, success, and I'm not going to let that last inning affect anything. Awesome community coming out, and it's like you dream of this type of moment, and finally all came to light. I showed them that I have what it takes, I feel like. All these other guys on the, on the top of the rankings, you know, they get a little bit more looks, but I think we have a lot of guys down here in Lono that uh, need the looks as well. It's amazing that they always respond. We played, what, 32 times and 29 of them, we cut them out on top. So, tough, this is what we pride ourselves on, and that's what they are. The last championship they took was in 1969, and uh, this year for our seniors, I grew up with them guys, and uh, we want to make this last ride for them. I mean, we've gone up from about five years old, playing all summer together. I think all the hard work that we put in paid off.